Hello and I welcome Blockchain Gaming World with me John Jordan. So I'm playing Legendary Heroes Unchained. Did a first video of this. Uh, I've got into it a little bit more, so I understand it a little bit more, as often is the case. Um, so now I'm going to do another video. Um, so this is currently an alpha version. It's actually alpha, the second alpha version. I think they're running dungeons um, every so often. You can see this dungeon has three, has about four hours left. Uh, that's due to the leaderboard um, situation, um, which we'll sort of come to later on. But I'm just going to go into play. So this is a, oh, this is the leaderboard actually. So I'm, I'm actually here, number 16. Uh, I'm not going to get in the top 10, I don't think, because there's suddenly a big jump <laughs> between 14 and 13. Obviously other people are playing as well, I guess. Um, so at the moment, this is just a browser-based game. You don't need a you do need a wallet, but you don't need any assets to do it. It just creates a wallet for you if you don't have one. Um, so I'm getting event points, and I'm earning um, a whole bunch of uh, items. I don't know whether these are NFTs. I don't think they are, and I don't know whether they'll uh, be continued through to the final version of the game. Um, you just It's an alpha version. You're just sort of testing. Um, okay, so I've got some uh, characters, heroes here. Um, so heroes, this is sort of bog standard stuff. So you, you get a pack that you open. I've actually opened two packs here. Um, so you, I sort of leveled these up. You can see some of them are doubles. I'm not leveled those up. There's no fusion yet, so I can't fuse these cards to um, level them uh, to to uh, level them up more, or however uh, you want to discuss it. I, I can level up if I get more uh, of these items. Um, it's showing me what would happen, uh, but the fusion is not in in there yet. Say alpha version. Okay, so let's go in and play the game. So this is based on Legendary um, Heroes, which is a free-to-play mobile game that's been around for a while. Um, and it's a sort of deck building. Obviously, the deck building elements are here. I'm just sort of choosing what I've got. You know, I'm not really um, doing a lot of strategy at the moment because these are just obviously the starter packs, um, your know, starter cards, and I can't really do very much with them. Um, and then it's sort of a, it's sort of a meta sort of game. So it's just sort of it's not really it's sort of a random. Sort of, they're calling them dungeons, random sort of choices that you make. You can reset it. It says change your reality. I've got some of these crystals. I can reset them with that. I can also buy some more um, uh, NFT packs with that. I've got energy, um, so I'm just going to re enter the dungeon. Um, and it's just going to sort of make this, um, you know, it's basically, I assume it's AI sort of creating this um, sort of dungeon. And, and you can see uh, there's different choices I make. Um, so I start here. In this case, I've got to do a battle. It doesn't really matter which one I choose. Uh, let's just do a normal battle. And the deck side over here, I could, I could, I could uh, fight these. I could make these manual choices myself. I'm just going to hit auto at two times speed, so it's going to whiz through. So some people like these sort of games. Um, some people don't. Some people like to make very particular choices about decks and how they build stuff. You know, this isn't a trading card game like Hearthstone. This is a um, sort of deck building. Um, sort of a you know game where it's all about the meta really and it's all about um, getting as far as you can into the dungeons and choosing sort of what your deck is um, and leveling up you know getting a certain amount of resources and then choosing how you level up your characters um, and as you get deeper into the game it's sort of about how you sort of optimize your your your, your decks and obviously you can imagine a pvp um, element of this although at the moment this is just pve clearly say alpha version so you can see, it's, it's, I have I've got some sort of choices, but I'm still doing battles, so um, doesn't really make a lot of odds at the moment. But it's, there are different um, um, options, right? So uh, probably well, this character is going to get killed, I would imagine. Yeah. So um, next battle, we'll do some use some of the items that I've earned. Um, obviously, as I play through more, I'm, pl I'm playing against harder and harder enemies. I assume. I mean, I'm leveling up as well, um, but uh, um, probably gonna. Yeah, find it harder as I go on. Okay, so I'm whizzing through here. Get, you know, everyone's getting XP. I'm getting event points and coins, which are useful. Um, and now I can choose between a battle and a mystery. So a mystery might be a battle. So um, there's uh, just a choice you do. It doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, so uh, just getting some some points here. And now um, I can't do anything. There's a merchant, so I might want to buy some meat. Uh, I don't want to do that at this point. Um, some more mysteries. Um, you know, I don't really know if there's a, a, a good option or a bad option for these sort of things. Some of them end up being in battles. Doesn't really matter. Say so again, um, it's alpha version at the moment. So, um, you know, and this sort of game is not really about the specific elements choices you're making. It's more about the sort of meta. Um, 
but obviously you know you can't uh, like some idle games you could in some idle games you could just auto through this you can't auto through this you're actually having to sort of click on this stuff yourself even if the choices are not necessarily um, very uh, significant at the moment um, shrine what we're going to do here there's um, so we get some maybe some artifacts so I don't, don't quite know what those items are going to be useful for they don't, they don't seem to be useful at the moment so that mystery box is a battle so here now I'm going to go into my revive I'm going to revive uh, this character with a feather and I'm going to heal them um, 50% so um, I've collected these throughout the battles that I've been doing previously so now I'm pretty much good to go might want to um, heal this guy why does it want to do that uh, oh because it's a revive um, okay, let's see. okay so off we go uh, usual battles um, so again I say this sort of game some people really like it some people really hate it um, this game has been successful. It's sort of in this format in a slightly different way um, on mobile for the last um, 10 years, really, I think. Um, so, yeah, you know, these games tend to be a bit more niche audience wise than, than obviously some of the other tr trading card game styles, um, but they, are, they tend to monetize pretty well. Um, uh, and obviously sort of with the blockchain elements, you can imagine there's a sort of higher level, level of retention. Obviously there's, People are into these sort of things, are really into optimizing what they have and what they don't want. They can maybe sell on marketplaces. You can sort of see how blockchain fits into this sort of um, sort of more um, sort of hardcore genre, which is less about sort of a Twitch skill as it may be in a first-person shooter type game um, or even a strategy game. Um, this is more, much more about, um, as I say, sort of playing the game for uh, months and maybe years and sort of really eking out some of the um, some of the sort of re deeper reward systems and I don't know I've not really seen very much about sort of guilds and stuff but again the, these sort of elements sort of really do play into guilds um, for blockchain games where people are uh, maybe doing guild uh, guild wars it's sort of clearly a, a really um, key thing for some of these games so going through a lot of battles as you can see that um, compared to the first video I did which was actually the tutorial this, this is now quite a prolonged um, uh, sort of session in terms of going through this this uh, dungeon it's not I'm not going to fail it, I don't think, because I've um, it's an alpha, so I don't want you necessarily to fail. And I've got quite a lot of um, items that I can resurrect my my guys with um, if I need to do that. And um, what should we do here? Let's do a chance one. Um, okay, so just obviously uh, not really reading the reading the law or anything like that, um, which I don't know. Maybe I should. Okay, almost finished. Um, okay, so f boss. Um, okay, so let's see how we get on with this boss. Um, she's going to go first, and then we're going to sort of crack on. She's level 15, but obviously I've got five. Well, it looks like one of them's going to die, but I think we'll probably be okay. Okay, we've got four now. Oh, no, it's just been revived. Good. And they're cycling through different attacks, which is why you sometimes see these animations. That's their sort of, um, you know, sort of critical attack. Um, this one is taking a little bit longer. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, still doing okay on health for the four that are still up and running, um, and she's down to the uh, down to the dregs. So there we go. Come on, finish off. Good. Okay, so finish that uh, run. And so obviously the game is sort of playing through these uh, dungeons over and over again. I imagine the full game. Obviously you'll sort of cap out at some point, um, and then it'll be all about sort of you know how you use the resources. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Got some shards, some uh, dragon skull, whatever that is. Um, not quite sure. Um, that's another element that probably is not in the game at the moment, how you might use some of these items. Okay, so I did pretty well there. Got up to 15. Um, I could get up to 14. I'm not going to um, probably have the time or the um, uh, commitment to, to get <laughs> to get any higher than that. So I'll probably leave it at this and I'll probably drop down. Um, you can imagine I might drop down a little bit um, in the next uh, four, three and a half hours. I didn't gain any more, um, haven't gained any more resources. Um, 
can see here if I get uh, what points have I got? I've got up to this. Um, so I need to get 125,000 points to get to get some more stuff like that. Probably can update my heroes. Um, no, I haven't got enough XP. Looks like um, okay for some of them. I do. Oh, but she's no, she's uh, level one. No, we really want to be doing that. Um, so these are the sort of the uh, some of the other doubles that I've got, so I could level up. Um, level up there if I wanted to. Um, oh, actually, the other thing I could do. Uh, let's see, so I could go to the market. Okay, so if I go to the marketplace, um, I have some of these shards, so I could um, buy some more packs. Um, this is the collection is what I've got at the moment. Actually, they keep, always keep pressing the wrong button. So I've got actually nine of these. I could buy nine packs if I wanted to, um, or th this is the. I think you have to be very high, highly, um, <laughs> uh, highly ranked to get these. I'm not like seeing any of these. I don't have any uh, Pentax dust, um, but these are alpha packs. So these are obviously better, better characters. Um, only one card per pack, but, um, and not very many available. I don't have any of those. Um, but I could. Uh, I assume I'm minting this. So this is actually going on the blockchain. Don't know what blockchain it's running on. I think it's running on the Forte platform, um, so it could be running on any blockchain under under the surface. But there we go. So I've got one of those, um, and I've reached my limit now. Um, can't have any more. Uh, but I think uh, I don't think I have to open it. I don't know. Was it going to show me? No, it's not really in that section, is it? Somewhere, somewhere there's a pack <laughs> with my name on it. <laughs> um, Oh, there is so it's up, so it's up here so I'm not going to open that one I'll, I'll, I'll keep that one um, as a as an unopened pack um, might be useful later on so if I hit open I can open it but as I can't fuse any of these there's no point doing it at the moment so yeah so alpha version probably uh, lots of features to come in lots of stuff to change um, you know and obviously some of the deeper meta characteristics not yet in the um, in the gameplay so so um, you would think um, slightly less interesting than it will be when it goes into um, alpha, uh, beta, sorry. Um, but obviously people need to play the alpha to test the system and, and all that sort of stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and uh, up here as well, I don't quite know what these are. So these are, um, I don't know, I'm going to say, obviously there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on with these, um, with these items um, and quite what the countdown is for. I'm guessing these are, this is a cool down for maybe I can claim these. Um, but uh, really have no idea. Um, <laughs> uh, but always in alphas, always, always something to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon.